Hi Virgo, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of January. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, we're going to look at the current energy around you at this time. Uh, this video will be out before um, January, so it's really intended for whenever you see it till whenever. So we're going to look, look at the energy around you, maybe about love, it may not be. So we're just going to take whatever comes out here. So I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, all of your playlists are in the description box below. And um, there's a ton of stuff there. So um, you know how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram. So please feel free to check out um, the box below for any information you need. So first thing we're gonna do here, Virgo, is get a sign, element, or a planet from the Zodiac Oracle. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine sort of like a little extra bonus so what do we have for virgo at this time spirit please thank you so much i guess that's your card so we have aries so you could be dealing with the aries you could have aries in your chart or know somebody that who has uh, aries in their chart also aries in the tarot in the uh, major arcana does represent uh the emperor so i don't know um, if you could be dealing with a boss or something like that but We'll see what's going on here. So what I'm going to do now with this deck, um, Virgo, is I'm going to get your opening message, and then I'm going to get one for your energy. We'll go over the bottom of the deck, and then we'll um, get more energy with the tarot, and then we'll close it out with some, with some extra messages from that deck. So let's get an opening message for Virgo if my cards will shuffle. Opening. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy holidays. Okay, so what's going on with Virgo at this time? What is the opening message for Virgo at this time, Spirit? Please, thank you so much. Okay, that card here. Orphaned. And we have number five. And five is about change. So let's see what orphan, I mean, that doesn't mean you're an orphan, but you could be feeling lonely and isolated, feeling like you really don't fit in anywhere. So let's see what the uh, message has to say here. A sense of loss and an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. So you may be feeling like you don't fit in somewhere or you really don't belong in a situation that you're in. Um, kind of feeling like isolated and just like alone for some reason. So let's see what's going on here for you, um, Virgo. Let's see why you're in this energy. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Why are you in this energy, Virgo? Why is Virgo in this energy? Why is there a message orphaned? Please, Spirit, I'm feeling that one. Breathe, 29, which is 11. Which 11 is about uh, being, you know, divinely guided, being on the right path. It's a very spiritual number. And if you do reduce it, you, usually you don't. But if you do, twos are about unity. But it's telling you here to breathe. So let's see what breathe, the number 29, um, has to say. It says here, patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. So, you know, maybe there's something here that uh, you're waiting on and it's taking a very long time and you just need to have patience and trust. And maybe while you're waiting, I don't know, for some reason you're feeling very uh, lonely and isolated and uh, like left out in the cold. That does definitely reminds me like the Five of Pentacles energy with that card. So this is telling you to take a break, uh, take a break, take a breather, you know, to breathe. So here we have by the book, number 11. So we have 11 again, which is another repeating number. So I think you're going in the right direction. You're um, being led to go in the right direction, though you may not be seeing it right now. And you may be getting a little frustrated. You may be feeling, again, like that isolated, you know, cold, lonely feeling. But this is telling you just to trust, be patient, and just breathe and just let nature take its course. But uh, by the book there, that's about, um, you know, kind of like, it's kind of like justice to me in a way, almost. It's like, well, the Hierophant energy just uh, doing uh, what's moral, just in right kind of energy. So abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, 
universal laws. So something by the book here. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Maybe there's something that you have to do by the book and it's taking a very long time. Like you have to, like if you have to go through something through the justice system or you have to go through a lot of paperwork or there's a lot of rules and regulations and customs or whatever and it's just taking, because you have to do it the right way, it's just taking a very long time and I feel like <laughs> you're getting like frustrated and like, you know, I'm just done with this already and I think that breathe is just take a break, let it go for a while, you know, breathe, relax, just let it, just let it, you know, do what it needs to do. Um, cause I feel like wherever you are now, it's like you, you feel like you really don't belong there and you're just waiting for whatever needs to take place to take place. So you can feel like you're in the right place, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, it could be, you know, it could be anything here. So I don't know. Let's see what's going on. I mean, you could be moving, um, cause you see these elephants moving. So maybe you really don't like where you're living. You know, you do feel like you don't fit in. Um, and maybe, you know, you're trying to sell your house and you're like, I just can't wait to move. Or, I mean, it could be a new job I mean, it could be anything here. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Do you Virgo? Why is all this energy here for Virgo? So you have the queen of pentacles. So that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male or female, doesn't matter. So yeah, this is your stability. I mean, this almost looks like, you know, waiting waiting for something here. It's like you're waiting for something to like end or go through what it needs to go through by the book so that you can have your stability here, your um, whatever it is tangible or whatever it is to you so you can like legally have it. It'll be yours. But for right now, it's like you just have to like wait it out. I hope this makes sense. Three of Swords, yeah, heartache, pain, sorrow, loss, painful energy here. So let's see why all this is here for you. Okay. Wow. So <laughs> this this just what everything I just said, these three just flew out together and there are three major arcana. So this is something major going on for you, Virgo. Holy crap. So I did feel like you're waiting for the cycle of something to complete, but it has to go by the book, whether it's paperwork, it's documents, it's filing of something, it's waiting for something, you know, in the court system, whatever it is that you have to do the legal way, buy the book, do the right way. You're waiting for that procedure or whatever it is to close out with the world energy. And that's your energy also, the earth energy here. So, you know, that's waiting for this cycle to close out so you can start a new cycle. And there you have it in hand. So you're just waiting to have that in your hand. And here's the Hierophant energy, which I had said kind of reminds me of the spy, the book, doing what's moral, just and right. It's also faith, hope, and optimism, spirituality, and faith. So this is just a trust and have faith as with the breathe card. So this came right under the breathe and breathe was about to trust and have faith and just take a breather and relax. And the Hierophant is about trust, faith, spirituality. And then you have temperance which is about balancing out your energies. It's about patience. It's about healing. So, and I have felt that needing to balance out your energies. Like you just want this to be like completed already so you can move on and whatever here. And you're feeling very orphaned and hurt and sad and lonely for some reason until you can have this new beginning in whatever direction you're going in here. It could be about, you know, a job or something like that. Um, maybe wherever you are now in your career, you just, don't fit in. I don't know by the book what's going on with that, that you would have to wait. Maybe, you know, you gave you notice and you really have to wait out the two weeks or um, there's like a severance pay issue or something like that. Or you're legally bound to work like a certain amount of time before you can leave. Um, and you're really filling, you know, filling out those obligations, even though you really don't want to. So, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's get, um, Okay, so let's get about wow, three major arcana there. The world, the hierophant, and the temperance energy. So need, needing to balance out your energy, to have patience and faith, hope, trust. This will close out. You will have a new cycle. Five of Wands. So conflict. Yeah, so that's conflict competition. So I feel like there's some sort of um, conflict with like 
the way you have to leave or the way you have to um, start about your obligations. It's like you really don't want to, but you know it's the right thing to do, so you have to. Or there's some sort of complications with something here, and that's why it's taking so long. Ten of Pentacles. So there you go. So you will have Ten of Pentacles here. So if it's a monetary thing you're waiting on, I think it's going to go in your favor. And I think you're going to be well off here. You're really not going to have to worry. So if you're waiting on some sort of um, money or like a, um, I don't know, if you're waiting on something, I mean, there's your Ten of Pentacles. So there's your abundance, your security. <laughs> monetary like not having to worry so whatever this is I feel like um, it's going to go in your favor so let's get a couple more here for you the queen of wands a very fiery passionate like energy um, you know not giving up fighting for this so you're fighting for something being strong and brave courageous fiery and passionate like not giving up Fight, could be fighting for something here. Uh, the hangman. So yeah, pause, a break here. Energy here. Um, I think there's some sort of complications here with something, whether it's something in, in the court system or it's something where you're working and you can't leave yet because you have to fill your obligations and you really don't want to, but then some other complications came up. There's some sort of complications that is halting you from like leaving a situation or moving on from a situation or getting closure or getting a settlement or something like that. And you're waiting everything to resolve the way it should be with by the book here. And I think it's taking a long time with the hangman energy there. And you're like, you know what? I'm just, I feel like you're getting frustrated there also. But uh, again, you have to pet, you know, Balance out your energies and have patience and just have trust and faith that everything's going to work out fine. But you do have the Ten of Pentacles there, so Six of Cups. So this, you know, could have to do um, something from your childhood, a childhood home, or maybe a job you have been at since you were a kid. Maybe you've worked there for a very, very long time, and now all of a sudden you're leaving. So here's the wheel coming in. Wow. So this is, look at all the majors here. We have three, four, five majors here. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in your favor, better luck. So whatever you're waiting on, whatever complications there are now, I feel like they will resolve. Things will go in your favor. Divine timing is here with the wheel. You're going to get whatever you're waiting for there because you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, and I feel like it's something from your past or something you're connected to from your past or something... Um, you've been involved with for a very, very long time with that Six of Cups energy. So let's see. Or it could have to do with old friends and family or something like that. So now we have the Two of Wands. So, you know, for your advice. So I think your advice here is not to worry, you know, even though it's taking a long, long time because the Six of Cups is about past energy, uh, nostalgia, you know, looking back on the past kind of energy. Maybe you're looking back on everything. But just know that things will go forward. Things will go forward and you'll be able to make plans and decisions moving forward in the future. So what else here? Seven of Swords. So it could have been some sneaky, deceitful behavior that happened. Maybe somebody like did something to the books somewhere along the way and messed everything up for you. If that makes any sense. Because this Seven of Swords is a very uh, deceitful, sneaky, backstabbing kind of energy. So so many, maybe somebody fidgeted with books or something, and now, you know, it really screwed up your plans, if that makes any sense, moving forward. But I feel like everything will be resolved uh, here. So let's see what your possible outcome is here for you, Virgo. Nine of Swords. So you know you're stressed, you're worried, you have fear, anxiety about this, what's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe you're not sleeping at night. You could be having nightmares. You're just really, really stressed out. But there's a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity. So the truth will come out. Truths will come out. The truth will come out. You'll have your successful new beginning here. Sort of victory. Truth and clarity. Be able to cut away things no longer serving you. Standing up for yourself. Telling it like it is. Kind of energy. 
big epiphany, aha moment. Wow. So there's your brand new beginning. Ten of Cups. So now you have happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home and family. Fulfillment in every single way in your home life also. Could be affecting your home life because maybe you're just so unhappy. Um, it could be affecting your marriage or your relationship. But I feel like once this is resolved, you're able to move on. Um, because you do have the Ace of Swords for a new beginning. Your home life will improve also because you got two tens there. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Ab abundance in your home life. Ha fulfillment and happiness in your home life in every single way. So I don't think you really have to stress out like this because you have the star here. So something divinely guided for you. Faith, hope, optimism, healing, energy. So wishes and dreams coming true. So everything's going to be fine here. Eight of Cups. You'll be able to walk away here from what you're, you've been wanting to walk away from and manifest a brand new beginning for yourself, the magician. But you need to stay strong. The strength energy here. Keep that strong, courageous, brave attitude and not give up. Keep on working at it. Even though, even though you feel like, you know, hurt and loss and sadness, the judgment, final judgment will be made here. And then you'll be celebrating. Final judgment will be made. You'll be celebrating with the judgment card here. Even though you feel sadness and hurt right now, not to give up, to keep working at it. Stay strong, courageous, and brave. You will be able to manifest a new beginning and walk away from what's not serving you because your wishes, dreams will come true, divinely guided, faith, hope, optimism. Wow. So we do have uh, Aquarius here, and we do have Gemini, Virgo, Leo, uh, let's see, Scorpio, and then we have Leo, uh, Aries, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Sagittarius, Taurus, Earth energy here, uh, Sagittarius. Cancer Pisces. So do have a lot of energy here. So the signs may not mean anything, but I know people like to know the signs. So I do feel like whatever difficulties, whatever um, negative energy was here, whatever, if somebody did something deceitful, backstabbing, or something to screw something up for you, and it's halting your um, process here, I feel like Whatever complications here was caused by somebody who did not have good intentions, maybe. And uh, But things will come to light. Truths will be told. Um, you'll be able to walk away from this. Things will go in your favor. You'll have growth, abundance, happy home and family. You'll have a new beginning for yourself. You could be waiting to start a new job there with the Queen of Pentacles, maybe being a boss, a CEO, maybe owning your own business. That kind of energy also. Wow, Virgo. So let's see. And that's that Aries energy with the Emperor. And I had said that at the beginning. Emperor, Empress is, you know, being a ruler, being in boss, in charge, uh, manager, CEO, owning your own business, entrepreneur energy. So that could be that energy. So Virgo, I'm going to get some closing messages here. But I do ask if you're new to my channel, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. I do a lot of different readings. I do a a tarot forecast like this and I also do a love connection a singles who's coming towards you uh, messages from your spirit guides um, or I do angel readings different readings like that and I also now have just started a weekly element energy reading for the, every week so every week every element gets their energy forecast for the week so if you're interested in all that subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out if you do thank you quick shout out to all who have supported me in the channel whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for personal reading, sent a gift, subscribed, whatever you've done, it's truly appreciated. I could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So let's see what your messages are here. Dwelling in truth, I stand in the light of truth. And then I not say truths will be told, the truth will come out. The truth will come to the surface, whatever happened here. Wow, things will go in your favor. Listening with your heart, I trust the messages I receive from my heart. So that's just telling you, you know, if you sense that everything's going to go in the right direction, just keep that faith, hope, and optimism and know, listen to your gut and your intuition. Everything will be fine. Everything will work out. And let's see what's at the bottom here. Manifesting dreams. My dreams are coming true. And there's that growth and abundance with the cornucopia here. So exactly. All your dreams coming true. And we did have the star here with manifesting dreams and dreams coming true. Wow. So... I don't think you have to worry. I think everything will be fine. Whatever your situation is here, um, 
I think things will go in your favor, Virgo. Wow. Okay, Virgo, so best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.